mammals didn't need such a long period of adaptation. Their ability to migrate over long distances enabled them to conquer the desert much more quickly. The pair of jackals will soon reach the coast. Clarissa, meanwhile, is still searching for water. Little Maya is already exhausted. The group has to keep stopping. The animals are reaching the limits of their strength. Clarissa can produce less and less milk for her daughter. Suddenly, a commotion as Maya sinks to her knees. But Clarissa urges her offspring onwards. It is her only chance. As dusk falls, they finally arrive. Thanks to Clarissa's knowledge, there's something to drink at last. Adult elephants can get by on a hundred liters of water a day. The subsequent dust bath serves to protect the elephant's skin from the relentless sun. The trek to the next source of food is long. The following morning, Clarissa will move on. The experienced cow knew instinctively that, in times of drought, there was some precious greenery here to feed on. The exhausted animals can at last fill their stomachs again. And this is how a happy, full-up baby elephant looks. Maya in paradise. A strong wind blows in from the coast, and sandstorms form in the hinterland. They reach the river valley where Clarissa and family have found food and shelter. Sandstorms like these are the harbingers of heavy rain. Experienced elephant cows like Clarissa know what that means. As soon as it rains, the dry river valleys will be turned into raging torrents that wash away anything in their path. Imminent danger for the family of elephants. Time to move on again. Now the safest place to be is outside the valleys. How right Clarissa was can be seen the following day. Water in the dry river valley. Only every 10 years or so is the rain strong enough for the flood wave to reach the sea. Just a few days later, the first green shoots begin the transformation of the dry river valleys. The Huanib Valley too is bursting with new life as the first exiles return. For one animal, however, the rain came too late. Hold one tusk succumbed to hunger before the first drops fell. The jackals find his body on the edge of the valley.
The jackals don't approach the body until evening. And thus, the circle of life is complete. The next morning, long unheard calls echo through the valley. Clarissa is back. Her family survived the floods unscathed. Maya, too, is thriving. At last, the newly greened Huanim Valley comes into view. Clarissa's family is home again. Jappy will pass on the genes of his father, One Tusk, and with them, his strength and intelligence. Clarissa is pregnant with him. The Alpha Cow will induct each new generation into the secrets of the desert elephants. This is essential for their survival. The Huanib River Valley is probably the last real wilderness in Namibia. One in which only the cleverest, most intelligent of the animal world can survive. A life of extremes in the home of the desert elephants. <laughs>